Hi and welcome to Best My Test. In today's video we are going to look at words that show effect. The words we are looking at today are effect, impact, effect, result, consequence and outcome. They are extremely important in TOEFL and IELTS exams, especially in speaking and writing sections. That's why in today's lesson we are going to show you how to use them properly in English. In addition, we will show you useful patterns and expressions used with these words. If you haven't checked our last video on cause before, make sure you watch this video as well. So let's get started with effect. An effect simply is the outcome or result of something. The following patterns and expressions are commonly used with the noun effect. One effect of A on something is B or B is an effect of A on something or A has an effect on something. The first and the second pattern describe what causes the effect, this is the A part, and they define what the effect is, the B part. Additionally, we use the preposition on to define the thing that is impacted. The third pattern only describes that something has an impact on something else without actually defining the effect or consequence in detail. Here are example sentences of the first and second pattern. One effect of advertising on the public is overconsumption. Or, overconsumption is one effect of advertising on the public. An example of the third pattern could be, advertising can have a significant effect on the public. We can replace effect with the noun impact, so we can change the above examples like this. One impact of advertising on the public is overconsumption. Overconsumption is one impact of advertising on the public. Advertising can have a significant impact on the public. When we use the noun impact and effect, we often use positive adjectives like positive and beneficial. And we can use negative adjectives as well, like negative, adverse, harmful or detrimental. Let's look at the following examples. One negative impact of social media on the society is that it leads to addiction. One positive impact of computers on society is that they bring convenience to our life. Parasitic relationships can have beneficial or harmful effects on hosts. We often use the third pattern followed by the second pattern when we write a summary. Let me give you two examples here. Example number one. Globalization has many adverse impacts on developing countries. One negative impact is the acceleration of income inequalities. However, globalization can also have positive impacts on developing countries. One positive impact is that it creates greater opportunities for firms to tap into more and larger markets around the world. Example number two, nicotine, an addictive substance, has many harmful effects on our health. One detrimental effect of nicotine is that it causes lung diseases. Another adverse effect of nicotine is it causing damage to our brains. Okay, a lot of students often get confused between effect and effect. Effect is a noun. Effect is mostly used as a verb, meaning to have an impact on. An example of this is, advertising negatively affects children in many different ways. Since to affect is a verb, it's wrong to say advertising has many negative effects on children. It should be advertising has many negative effects or impacts on children. All right, the next noun we're looking at is result. The following patterns and expressions are commonly used with the noun result. Note that here as well, A is the cause and B is the result. So. B is the result of A, or the result of A is B, or when or if something happens, the result is B. Here are example sentences. Air pollution is a result of the burning of fossil fuels. The result of deforestation is a loss of natural habitat for various animals. If the economy continues to decline, the result will be the deterioration of our standard of living. Another word that has a similar meaning to the word result is consequence. However, the noun consequence is normally used to talk about negative results. 
it is commonly used with words like adverse, disastrous, fatal, harmful, negative, serious, tragic or unfortunate. For example, when people do something wrong, like robbing a bank, the consequence will probably be prison time. Or when something occurs in nature, like a tornado touching down, destruction might be a disastrous consequence. The following patterns and expressions are commonly used with the noun consequence. B is a consequence of A. Or when something happens, the consequence is B. Or A has a certain kind of consequence. Or the consequence of A is B. Let me give you some examples. Depletion of natural resources is a consequence of rapid industrial development. When humans exploit natural resources, the consequence can be the loss of natural habitats. The exploitation of natural resources has serious consequences. The consequences of oil spills are disastrous to many plant and animal marine life. Okay, the last word we are looking at today is outcome. People often confuse outcome and result. Result is often used to talk about things that are caused directly by something else. Outcome is more often used to talk about what happens at the end of a process, when the exact relation between cause and effect is less clear. In addition, result is often used after an event to talk about what happened. Outcome is often used before an action or process to talk about what is likely to happen. Take a look at these examples. The outcome of a pricing strategy may be less profit from a reduced number of sales. It's too early to predict the outcome of the meeting. We are waiting to hear the final outcome of the negotiations. I know that my students worked hard, so I expect a good outcome. Alright, this is the end of today's video. Together with our previous video on cause, you should now know various ways to talk about cause and effects relationships. There are many other ways you can use to talk about these relationships. For example, you can use words like because of or due to to show cause or consequently and therefore to show effect. If you need more ideas with your, and help with your essays, we suggest to check out our video How to Express Cause and Effect Relationships in your essay part 1. It will help your English a lot. We even have more exercises for you on our website bestmytest.com, so make sure to check that out as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channels to stay tuned for more. So that's it for today and I'm seeing you next time.